All right, welcome to the coin toss, fellas, AKA the most important play of the game. We got heads on this side. We got tails on this side. Make your call, heads. Sorry, tails never fails. Maybe next year, good luck. Congratulations, you did it. There you go. You might have to hit the Bahamas or something because come on, tails never fails. Okay, I'll admit that that sketch was a little overblown. Not every team that wins the coin toss wins the whole thing, but it's not that far off, okay? Now look at this tweet from Ian Rappaport. 10 out of 11 playoff teams that win the coin toss have gone on to win the game. Now that's since they changed the rules back in 2010. Before that, it only took a field goal to win the game. So you didn't even have to score a touchdown, nothing. If you scored a field goal, you won the game. Now it's a little bit better, but it's still not like all the way better. They took kind of a half measure, but I'd like to see more of a full measure. This trend doesn't really hold up in the regular season. It's more of a postseason trend. So 52.8% of the time, if you win the opening coin toss in overtime, you win the game in the regular season. But in the postseason, 10 out of 11 times, if you win that opening coin toss, you win the game. And that's a problem because you don't want the flip of a coin to be determining these huge playoff implications. I mean, a regular season game is one thing and that's not perfect either. But if you're going to the Super Bowl or you're going to the NFC or the AFC championship game over the toss of a coin, that's what determines it. I think that's ridiculous. This past weekend, obviously we had a huge game, the Chiefs versus the Bills. Josh Allen's balling out. He looks like the best quarterback on the planet. He's just killing it left and right. He never gets a chance to even retaliate against what Patrick Mahomes did because they lost the coin toss. Simple as that, which is crazy because, okay, you can argue the Bills defense didn't show up. That's fine. Patrick Mahomes balled out. He's, he's a fantastic quarterback. He's, you know, one of the best in the world. And so is Josh Allen. Well, wouldn't you have liked to seen Josh Allen and Patrick Mahomes kind of battle it out left and right? Like, wouldn't you want that to be how it goes down? But instead, the coin toss is what determines what happens in the game. Now, that's not what you want to see. You want to see the players both sides of the field have a chance to really determine what happens. Now, the funniest thing about this is the Chiefs actually benefited from the overtime rule. A few years back, it was the complete opposite. In the 2018 AFC Championship, the Chiefs went to overtime against the New England Patriots and Tom Brady. Now, the same situation happened, but instead of the Chiefs winning the coin toss, they lost the coin toss. Brady goes down, scores the touchdown. This is Patrick Mahomes' first year as a starter in the NFL, and he never gets a chance to retaliate. So, of course, the Chiefs were angry after that, and they petitioned to change the rules. Sadly, nobody was too interested in improving the rules because they didn't see it as, as big of a deal as maybe some other people did. So here's the proposal. Both teams get the ball. If you score a touchdown in the first drive, the other team still gets a chance to score that same touchdown. They also they wanted to eliminate overtime for preseason, which nobody needs that. Nobody wants to get hurt during preseason. Eliminate the overtime coin toss altogether. Whoever won the coin toss before the game gets to determine who gets the ball first and then what side each side defends. So once both teams get a chance to have the ball, then it's, then it's sudden death from there. If the first team scores and the second team can't score, then it's over. I actually don't believe this is the best solution. I still think the team that gets the ball first has the clear advantage because let's say they score a touchdown and then the other team scores a touchdown, then we're back to square one. Then if that other team scores another touchdown, then the game's over because they had more possessions. So what should we do? What, what solution makes sense? It's, it's got to be rocket science or something. It must be very confusing because nobody wants to change it. I want to see a little more back and forth. I want it to be more entertaining. I don't want to show up to the coin toss and then be like, oh, okay, well, the game's over now because the Chiefs won the coin toss or vice versa. It doesn't matter what it is. So what should we do? Well, I'll tell you exactly what we have to do. And for that, we need to put our college hats on because it seems very simple to me. That's right, college, as in college football, because they have this figured out. They've done the work. It works. Now, I will admit one thing. College football is not perfect by any means. I still don't understand why you only need one foot in college in to catch the ball. Makes no sense. I don't get it. As soon as they go to the NFL, it goes to two legs. So who are they really helping with that? So change that rule, college football. That's just a personal rant. But they have gotten the overtime rules right. They have exactly what you need to do to make it a more entertaining product and more fair. And that's what you're all about is creating that competitive, 
balance. Nobody gets a, a competitive leg up based on a coin toss. That's ridiculous. That should not happen. I can't believe the NFL is still doing that. So what are the college rules exactly? What, what am I talking about? What makes them so much better than the current NFL rules? Well, let's go through them. First college rule, elbows got to be behind the line, not above the line. They got to be behind the line. Second rule is if the ball bounces and then goes in the cup, then that counts for two cups. Sorry, sorry, wrong slide. Those were the wrong rules. Those were, <laughs> those were different rules, different college rules. Let's get to the real football rules. Now, in each of the first two overtime periods, teams are granted one possession beginning at the opponent's 25 yard line. So it goes like this. First, the first team goes for a touchdown. They score as many points as they can. Then the next team goes and scores and tries to either match or beat them. If they end that first round and they're still tied, then you go to the second round, but each team must go for two if they score a touchdown. After each team goes again, then the final thing is like, okay, that's it. Two point conversions back and forth and then becomes a one play sudden death back and forth. You get one chance, they get one chance. You get one chance, they get one chance. I get one, you get one. I get one, you get one. And then it just becomes super intense. Every play matters. Both sides of the ball get to see the field. I know it sounds a little confusing, but once you get used to it, it makes a lot of sense. And it just has that feeling of like, that's a real sudden death to me. You see the offense, you see the defense, they're going back and forth. It reminds me kind of like a, uh, a hockey shootout where you have that goalie versus the shooter, shooter versus the goalie. Ah. It's just that tension that that would build in the NFL playoffs. It's fair, it causes more tension, and I think that people would really, really enjoy that for the NFL. Now that's what I think the perfect overtime rule should be. I know there's gonna be a lot of talk about this in the off season. I think there's gonna be a lot of arguments both ways. Congrats to the Chiefs, it takes nothing away from them, but I still believe that if you implement this overtime rule, bring it back to college, let's do it. I think that will be the best rule by far and cause the most just great moments. One play, one drive, one opportunity. Are you gonna let it slip? So let me know in the comments below what you guys think should be the overtime rule. Should we keep it the same? Should we change it to what the Chiefs propose? Do you wanna go with the college rules like I suggest? Or do you have another set of rules that you think could work? Please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. This is this is when I get on my fan. You see this on ESPN. You see this, look. Ooh. Look at that, look at that, you can't do that. This is what we train hours for right here, baby. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo.